Well, that's not fun if we want to do something outside. Oh well, free tractor wash. Now that we got everything back inside and we know it's uh, running, I want to take this to the next step, which is going to be making the intake pipes line up so I can have the carbs up top here side by side. Uh, I'm going to have to bend and tweak things a bit to make things go where I want, but uh, we'll see if we can't make that happen, because right now they're too far apart to do anything practical with them. And I went this morning and picked up a two into one throttle cable from a snowmobile. Same place as uh, the choke cables come from yesterday. So uh, handy to have that kind of resource in the neighborhood. Anyway, I'm going to carry on with this. I drained the fuel out of the bowls and uh, did a little bit of preliminary stuff. But uh, let's get the wrenching and get some of this other bits off of this thing. Put the motor spun around and the intake tubes put back into their original orientation. You can see here that there's no way I'm going to fit two of those Monster Makuni side by side the way things are right now. So we're going to have to do some cutting, some stretching, some cutting, some stretching until we get them to sit where we want them up here low enough that uh, they're not going to be too far in the way but uh, just up enough that we can still access the bowls and uh, things like that without disassembling everything so uh, just thought I'd give you a peek of what we're up against You guys find yourself working on round tube like this and fabricating your own uh, intakes and exhaust and you want to get a nice straight cut when you cut this stuff because you've got to weld it back together. So I use a hose clamp. You can use tape or all sorts of things, but a hose clamp works good for me. And uh, in the case of this black pipe, I use a uh, white paint pen to mark it. And what it helps get you is a nice square cut line on the pipe. Gives me something to work with. You get almost all the way around, except for where the screw goes through the clamp there. But uh, hey, that's far enough, I'm sure you can connect the dots from there. But that's how I get nice square cuts. Makes it real easy when you got to stitch this pipe back together again. Anyway, that's my tip for the day. Keep on cutting.
Well, it's another crappy day outside, so I thought I'd tinker with this some more inside. I uh, threw a little more of an exhaust on there, just temporary for uh, test and tune purposes. Once this goes into a machine, that'll end up getting changed. It doesn't need to stick out that far, or this, that, whatever. But uh, once I decide what this is going in, I'll worry about that end of it. But you sure can ask for a straighter shot through the combustion chamber, in and out, quick and easy. And uh, other than some idle jet changes, I think this thing should be pretty much good to go. Uh, the next challenge for me is delete all this governor garbage. It's all got to go, don't need it. So that'll involve cracking open that case and uh, get my hands dirty. But I'm going to save that for another day. Sweet. Can you tell? That's sweet. 